What's up, I'm Tyler Casey, and today I'm gonna to be talking about how to master B-roll footage for your music videos. If this is your first time watching my channel, here I post behind the scenes of my music videos, I break down some of the music videos I shoot, and I talk about some film gear. So let's get into the basics of B-roll. So when I mention B-roll today, pretty much what I'm gonna be talking about is any extra footage that isn't performance takes in your music videos. So the reason we use B-roll and cutaways in music videos is so that it doesn't get boring watching the artist perform the entire song. There are some music videos that don't use any or very little B-roll. And there's some music videos that are very B-roll intensive. So I'm gonna be going over different ways that I get B-roll. So the first way that I get B-roll is using slow motion. There's a couple ways to do this. The first way is you record in slow motion. Whether it's 120 frames per second or 60, you record your performance. This way, at any moment, you can slow down your performance take and use it as a B-roll shot. So this is if someone's dancing or maybe something crazy happens in a performance. You also cover yourself with slow motion so you can double this as b-roll as well another way i like to get b-roll too is just perform the song again without the artist singing you record in slow motion then you have lots of extra hand movements gestures things of that nature maybe them just vibing or dancing to the song or let's say you have dancers you can do another take of just people dancing in slow motion when you're playing back the song it's always a good idea to turn it down a little bit so you can direct them to do lots of different things like Let's say they have a bunch of money on their lap. You could say, uh, pick up that money and start counting it. All right, now throw the money. You can direct them to do what you want in these B-roll scenes. Hey. Right. Hey, hey, smoking. Hey, hey, um, this is slow motion. All right. <laughs> yeah, let me get one more, like, a little handshake, like he just got in. Right, let me see the chain one more time, just so we have that. Let me see the jewelry. Yeah. Hey. It's good to turn down the song so they can hear you and they don't start singing again. Another tip for B-roll is don't overuse slow motion as well. This kind of contradicts my first one. It's always nice to use just 24 frames per second so you get that cinematic look. You could shoot in 4K if your camera doesn't shoot 4K slow motion so you get the best quality possible. So another tip that I have is tell a story. This is where you could tell the story that your artist wants to tell with the song, where you as a director can really dig in and you can create a side story. There's all types of ways to get B-roll. So let's say you have a driving scene and maybe these people are off to do a robbery while the artist is performing and you cut back and forth to these. There's always a way to tie in your performances to your storyline. So if you have a storyline, that's a lot of B-roll and you can really tie that in. Another cool way to get B-roll is also using a drone. Drone shots are a great way to tell your audience where you are, what the location's like, really give a feel for where you guys are at for this particular scene. Don't overuse drone shots, but if you can use them in creative ways, definitely use them. Another B-roll tip that I have is use props. So there's plenty of props you can get. Sometimes your artists will already have these and sometimes you could think of these in pre-production. Things that I've used are smoke bombs, prop money, prop guns, really anything that relates to the song. You just have to be creative with this. Amazon and secondhand stores will be your best friend when looking for props. There's also prop houses as well. I've went and picked up a big block of money from there. So definitely get creative when it comes to looking for props. Lastly, there's just a handful of other ways that I like to get B-roll. I like to show people walking into the location and really capturing what the location looks like, what it feels like, and getting close-up shots of things that the artist may do and just trying to direct them in different ways. You can show environmental footage, whether there's graffiti on the wall. Definitely use reverse shots. So basically your artist looks at something, then you show what your artist is looking at. This is a very useful technique. There's definitely lots of ways you can go when shooting B-roll. Let me know some of the ways you guys use B-roll in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe to my channel so you guys can check out the next video I shoot. I'm Tyler Casey and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.